Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Healing Guys to Row. We're going to tap into your person's energy. Or if you don't have a current person that you're thinking about, it might be someone new coming in. So let's see what's going to be going on between you and this person or what is going on between you and this person. Okay, let's first, and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So how do you feel about them? Let's see, how do you feel about them? Okay, you see them as a king of pentacles, someone that looks like they might be really good with money, good with their finances, very stable, reliable, dependable. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But you feel that you feel secure. I feel like you feel comfortable with them. You feel that they're safe bet. Hope it's more than that. Okay, how you see them. Ooh, <laughs> you see them as chaotic or change, very changeable or unpredictable or um, out of control. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what, how to make that. Let's see. What lessons are you learning? It's kind of weird. It's, it's a, this is contradicting. It's like you feel, you feel that how you feel about them is stable, reliable. How you see them is different. Okay. Lessons you're learning. What are the lessons you're learning? Ooh. Partnership, choice, decisions. Um, you're learning love from them. You're learning a, might be a hard lesson in love, but if there's a a soulmate connection, you, it might be a twin flame. So it might be if then you could be learning some really hard lessons. Okay, your hidden desires. What are your hidden desires? Of course, this is also your your sign too. Let's see, what are your hidden desires? You want to have a good time. You want to celebrate. You want to be able to be feeling a lot of joy and happiness. That's your hidden desires. Unless someone wants a threesome here. I don't know what the three of cups. Okay. What's your conscious desire? Ooh. Okay, so you might be feeling kind of happy about this person, but what you're showing others maybe is that you're really upset. Wow, pretty heavy. You're showing others you're anxious. Or you you feel like something might not work. You, there's something uncomfortable about this. But at the bottom deck, we do have the Page of Cups. It looks like you're interesting in either making them offer or them coming giving you offer Scorpio Cancer Pisces this is an immature energy though okay let's go to their side how do they feel about you let's see how do they feel about you yours was very interesting okay so there was an ending and they feel like this cycle was completed but they're still they wouldn't um, object I think something coming back around they feel like there might be an opportunity here even though they feel that this has ended has completed and they also just might feel that they think they get the world of you they have a lot of um they have a, a very high opinion of you they have a lot of um emotions for you how do they see you They see you as sort of being maybe wanting or hurting, abandoned. May they see you as being hurt or someone that needs help. What are their lessons that they're learning? I think this person's learning to um, shine. It feels like they're learning to put more time and effort into themselves. Um, just trying to help themselves to achieve more. To get success they want. What are their hidden desires? It feels like this person might have been real busy. Their hidden desires right now just wants to, to chill, to relax, to um, meditate, to find solitude um, and just to I, want, I think they just want peace. 
their hidden desires have peace. Maybe they don't mention stuff like that. Maybe they actually do meditate and stuff like that and they don't let other people know that they do. What are their conscious desires? Yes, yeah, see, I think I don't know if you know this about this person, but this person might be very spiritual. And maybe they are like sort of coming out with this that they have they have ability to connect with spirit. They're very intuitive. Okay, on the bottom they see a lot of conflict, competition, or um, struggles here. So they're struggling with something here. They might be struggling with their spirituality. I don't know if you're aware of that. They might ha be having a hard time with this. Or maybe there's something that they're, they have a gift and they don't know how to um, handle it. Okay, let's see. What binds you two together? Okay, either you like to go out and party a lot, <laughs> or it's just that you guys both feel each other are each other's wish fulfillment. You feel very happy with each other. This seems like you both think that each other is the dream come true here. What is the current challenge between the two of you? Someone's sneaky. Someone's holding back. Someone, someone's not very truthful. So, um. It could be you both do it to each other or it could be someone does it and that's what the challenge is because someone maybe someone isn't capable of telling the truth or um doing things on the up and up it might be the way this looks it might even be your energy but then again you got the tower here i don't know it could go either way this person might be that's why this person might be sort of like they're trying to find themselves and may sometimes they seem off the wall to you you never know what's going to happen. It could be because they are spiritual and maybe they're into different things that you're not used to. Okay, what about the vice card? Let's see. What do we have for the vice? Ooh. Okay, there's going to be communication and hopefully truthful communication. Look, you both have, or this is a feeling of that you guys could have a long-term commitment. There is a possibility here. There could be a lot of happiness. I think you both feel that. But there has to be a... Oh, I'm almost saying there has to be a truce here. Cut out what's not good. Um, bring in what is good. Start a new beginning. And start it with honesty. Truth. That's what you guys need. To have a very honest, truthful um, conversation. Because you both feel like you want this commitment here. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else we get for you guys. What else do we have for Gemini? Okay. So there is going to be an opportunity between you guys to do something here. There is an ending that might be brought back around. Scorpio energy. But we have that here on their side. Trying to bring something out. And being able to put in the effort to work in this. You both feel like you're you're willing to try, I think. Because you think that it can bring a lot of prosperity or a lot of abundance. Or even abundance and love. But it feels like there's an opportunity that's going to present itself. And you both feel like you want to take it. That you tired of being away from each other maybe and that you want something to start again the burdens yeah letting go of these burdens emperor someone's coming to emperor energy okay so we have the emperor and the queen of swords here so aries and this is libra gemini or aquarius getting to the truth um having a, a talk someone might want to be in control here a little bit this but someone wants to walk away from the burden here so leave something that is not good or maybe this re relationship in the current situation has been a real burden on both of you it almost feels though like the emperor here they might want to make a move here and you're waiting for this move and you're like okay let's see what you got let's see what you pull out of your bag there let's see and that this guy's hanging on to the chest piece thing okay I'm very confident about the move he's going to make, whatever this is. But the Queen of Swords is ready to chop off his head, too. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> they both feel very, um, you, both of your energies feel very strong. And you both probably want control. Okay. Let's see what else we have.
it's weird because when I was looking at this emperor, I almost felt like it's a magician. So, and right down here, right down the middle, we have all this major arcana. So that's spirit helping you. So there's, there's going to be work to try to work things out. You guys are going to try to manifest something here between the two of you. There is other people that might be involved or inter interfering here. There's something you don't see to make a decision, but I think it might be, you know, let those other people um, stay out of it. Whoever side it is, you got other people interfering. Keep them out of it. This is between you two. Okay. So one more row here. Let's see. Okay. We have someone walking away from something. Someone might be leaving a relationship to come towards you, or you might be leaving a relationship to go towards them. Someone is leaving something behind that, you know, they're saying there's nothing left there anymore. It's not fulfilling. To go for their two of cups, and there's a lot of passion. Could be a Leo energy here. Could be also Aries or Sagittarius. But someone has, this feels like a more of a passionate relationship. But there is competition. Again, we get the five of wands. There's either competition, struggles, or something that's interfering between you guys. And it might be other people, especially we're seeing this two of swords here. I feel like other people might be getting involved in your business. And that's not good. Okay, let's see what signs we're dealing with for you guys. Pisces. Sagittarius. Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, and Sagittarius again. We've got all the water signs, a lot of motions here. Could be other people, could be the person you're dealing with, it could be anyone that's coming around you or that is around either one of you or both of you. Okay, guys, please give me a thumbs up if you like this new spread. Please let me know. And thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes, and all your comments. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.